Hey guys, so this is my 2008 Honda Civic that I bought for delivery driving. Little extra job I'm doing on the side and I wanted a car that had good gas mileage and wouldn't depreciate my Toyota FJ Cruiser by putting all the miles on it. So I got this for a pretty good price. It was 5,000 plus taxes and fees. It ended up being around 6,000 bucks. Has 130,000 miles on it. I've put 2,000 miles on it since I got it and not a single problem. So I wanted to wait to do a little review until I put a lot of miles on it. And after 2,000 miles, there's not a single issue, no dashboard lights or anything coming on. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the hood once we talk about it, but this is the 1.8 liter. Of course, I bought it from a dealer, so it's you know cleaned up, but everything looks really nice. I had a... Uh, Hold on one second. I had my mechanic look at it before I bought it. So I took the salesman to my mechanic and my mechanic looked it over for a while. Now mine did come with a new battery, new front brake pads. The tires are only about a year and a half old. Um, so, you know, if you buy one that has older tires or older brake pads, you might need to, you know, put that stuff on at some point. Uh, as a delivery driver, I'm going to have to replace those things like once every year and a half anyways. But the condition of this one's pretty great. I have the hood pop, so it's not just sticking up normally like that. Just wanted to show the trunk. And I just have, you know, a couple things in here. I don't have some plate uh, cups that I wanted for my house. This thing's kind of cool. You can put this on the steering wheel, and it creates a little table right on your steering wheel. So I can use my little tablet or whatever right on my steering wheel if I got some downtime. You got a poncho up there and this is actually a cloak that I use at the Renaissance Fair. It's like a wizard's cloak. But a big trunk and the rear seats go down. There's a pulley here for them, but they're not going to go down because I have stuff in the back. But there's a pulley here and that's the only way to lower the rear seats. One cool thing about this is this is the uh, full rear seat split. Uh, I mean put down. There's no split. So unlike a 60-40, here's all my delivery bags. Unlike the 60-40 split, this whole rear seat goes down, uh, which is fine. You know, 60-40 is cool too. But one cool thing about this one is the rear seats can only be open from inside the trunk. And let's say you have some stuff in the trunk and you're going to valet your car. It has a lock here. You can turn this lock on and you will not be able to open your trunk in any way. The valet key, if you give them your valet key, which I do have, will not open this. So you can lock stuff in your trunk, take your key with you and give them just the valet key, and anything in your trunk they cannot touch unless they pry it open with a crowbar or something, but there's no easy way in. So the back seats will go to the other side. They got plenty of room. I've taken five people in here a few times. And it's, it's plenty of room. My seats are pretty far back. This actually passenger seat's farther back than the driver's seat, and I fit just fine. There's no cup holders in the back. Now, there are door holders, which you could kind of throw a bottle in or something, and you got windows and, you know, doors. But there are no cup holders in back, at least on this LX model. I'm not sure if the other trim levels with the 6040 seats have uh, anything else. And the front, it's just a standard cloth seating in mine. If you get the EXL or one of the other top trim levels with leather, you can get those. I honestly prefer the cloth. It's just fine. It looks real nice and clean still, even being 10 years old. I got WeatherTech, you know, mats in there. It did come with the originals. Um, but in my area during winter and stuff, you get a lot of mud and snow. So got the, got the WeatherTechs. In the front, you just have, again, little cubbies. In the driver's seat, you have uh, this display up here, which I really like. I, I've heard mixed reviews about this, but your speed and your fuel and your heat of your engine and such are up here. And that speed being up there is really nice, actually. You can see it real easy without taking your eyes off the road. When I get back in my FJ, I, I never saw it as a problem in the past. But when I drive my FJ now, I really have to look down at my gauge cluster to see what I'm driving at and it's it's analog instead of digital and it's, it's no big deal but this is just a lot 
kind of easier. I really do like that display up there. Down here you just have your RPMs and your, uh, you know, your gauge cluster. On the LX model you got your cruise control here. I believe on the higher models you have some uh, inputs here for your stereo, like volume up and down and such. Now this is a 2008. It's like around the time smartphones just came out. So they didn't have a bunch of technology in here, which I like less to go wrong so we got a simple radio and we have you know just simple controls for your climate you got your uh, emergency your emergency lights and what I did in here is I just added a Amazon Alexa and she just listened to me Alexa stop so now in my car even though it's old school I can play anything I want but I don't want to play music for copyright things but let's just say Alexa what's the weather in Schlumberg it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies today you can look for intermittent clouds with a high of 79 degrees and a so, low of 63 Alexa, stop. degrees so if I wanted to play music again I'm not gonna let it play just for copyright no copyright reasons but Alexa play 90s music the station all 90s on Amazon music and it'll start playing that and you can say Alexa next, Alexa stop. So I basically have a system where I can just talk, play whatever music I want. I can say play a certain band, play this, play that, it's all fine. So again in the front, you know, you got your glove compartment, which is, you know, standard glove compartment. Got a few little cubbies here and here. You got two drink holders up here and a container here. And this also slides forward and back as an armrest. And then I got my charging ports, which I put in there. There's one uh, DC cigarette lighter port. You got auto up and down for your driver, but you only have standard for the rest, at least in this trim model. But I just wanted to give a quick review. I also got the Anchor Roav front and back camera in here. I just wanted to give a quick review of this because this thing's 10 years old and it still looks new to me. My mom and dad have seen it. They're like, what year is this? And I'm like, 2008. They're like, damn, really? And you can kind of tell by the radio, but by the look of the rest of the car, it's pretty good. Like I said, I put 2,000 miles on it, and I'm currently at 131,000 almost, and zero issues. Everything under the hood looks good. My mechanic checked it out. Hondas are supposed to last a long time. This is my first Honda. Uh, Toyota and Honda both are really good and long-lasting. But if anyone's looking for a used car, something that's not crazy expensive, but will get them everywhere they want and be reliable, I'd say check out a used Honda. I'd say, the, I'd say a used Toyota Camry would be in the same ballpark. Uh, but a really nice car. I'm really happy with it. It actually drives really sporty. I, uh, you know, I've had sports cars before. I had the Subaru WRX. I had the Subaru BRZ. I've driven... Uh, my, my dad's Corvettes and BMW ZR4 or Z4 or whatever it is and Z3 and Camaros and all types of things. This is by no means a sports car, but what I can say is coming from my Toyota FJ, this thing feels like a sports car. Yes, it's got a little 1.8 liter four cylinder, but it's pretty peppy and the steering feel is just great. There's almost no body roll. The steering feels great. And it's actually a very enjoyable car to drive. So, like I said, I just wanted to kind of show it, do a little review. If anyone has one, give your uh, opinions on what you have. If there's any problems with it, let me know. If there's anything that you think I should know about, about a Civic of this time period, let me know. But I've put, like I said, about 2,000 miles on it. I'm, I'm pretty darn happy with the purchase. So, that's about it for now. I'm going to get back and start doing some more deliveries. We'll catch you all later.